This week, only on NBC5 News, we bring you the story of a local dog named Max who went from living on the streets to a loving home. Here's Dr. Robin Miller with part two of her three-part series. But they actually saw him on the website, and they thought he, they liked his look. Um, they're the kind of people that would open their home and their heart to any animal, whether it was looking perfect or not, or I think if it, I think they'd even be more attracted to an animal that needed help. And, and that's the kind of people they are. And that's what was so uh, nice for us to know that Max went into a home with some of the kindest, most generous, compassionate people I've known in my life. About a month later, I got a message from um, the wife of the couple that had adopted him. And, you know, keep in mind that the whole month I had been getting all these darling videos and updates of him going for coffee and going to the beach and just absolutely living his best life. Uh, unfortunately, what she told me when she called was that they had had to say goodbye to Max the day before. Um, he had gotten a blockage in his bladder and the neurologist that had seen him originally did not think that he would survive a surgery. And so they had to say goodbye to him after only a short month. Dogs have much to teach us. Max has set an example of what we all can aspire to. He definitely suffered serious health challenges, but he lived in the moment, was immensely grateful for the time he had with a loving family. He was able to be present, to play and love unconditionally. If you missed part one of the Max story, you can find it on our website, kobi5.com. And join us tomorrow for the final installment of Max's story right here on NBC5 News at 6.